Hey guys, it's Rain. So for this decoration, I'm going to be using some colored fondant. I colored it with this orange gel food coloring. This is from a set. It's by Wilton. And my fondant is by Wilton as well. I do have the review for this too. I just colored it, placed a few drops on my fondant and let it set overnight. And I'm working over my crafts mat. I do have a review for this one. One side I use it for my crafts painting and the other one I use it for this, like for my fondant. But if you don't have it, work over some parchment paper because fondant sticks to the table. I'm going to be rolling this and then i'm going to be using this round quick cutter it's from the set i do have to clean the set you can't really tell the size anymore but i'm using like the second size of quick cutter and that amount of fondant that i showed you at the beginning it will give you seven circles and about this thickness then i'm going to be using this tool i do have the diy for this it's like a scribe tool dotting tool actually really easy to make and it's really handy but i'm going to be making some indentations from our halloween pumpkins it's like one mark in the middle and then two on the sides and the one on the sides are just like curved shapes and then i'm going to be using some lemon yellow and some forest green gel food coloring these are by this other brand americana i don't have the review for this ones but i really like them and for this amount of fondant i applied five drops of that yellow and just one drop of that forest green and as you can see it's really pigmented and i really like this shade of green but if i were to do this again i would add a bit less of that green and i'm going to be making two kinds of stems for the first one is like rolling a bit of fondant and and then just placing it like that and then with my tool i'm going to be working like the shape of it first striking the bottom part on my pumpkin like this and then just working on the details like this and for the other one i'm going to be rolling some fondant until i have this shape like a thin snake or sausage and i'm going to be rolling this like this and then on the other end pushing this and then placing my pumpkin on top i'm going to be working on the face for this i'm going to be using my super black gel food coloring my clear vanilla extract my dropper and a place to just mix the whole thing and i'm also using this tool that i do have the diy for it's just a toothpick holder it's just so that i can work with my toothpick easier and the face is pretty easy i'm first going to be marking with dots the nose which is like three dots and then the eyes are pretty much the same but in a bigger scale and then the mouth is like the typical mouth and i'm tracing like the edge of the mouth with my toothpick it works pretty well as like like a thin brush and then to fill this in i'm going to be using this wilton brush that i just made this thinner i do have the diy showing you how to do this you can use like detail crafts brushes if you prefer i just bought this set and i have to say i really like it the bristles are pretty soft and all of the brushes are really easy to work with so I recommend it if you paint over a lot of fondant. The cupcakes that I do, by the way, I never use cupcake liners anymore. I do have like the DIY showing you how to make this and how it tastes. In my frosting, I'm using my Nordstrom's Cafe cream cheese frosting that I love. I don't use anything else anymore because the taste of the stew is really good. Placing my cupcake decorations on top and that's pretty much it, guys. And they're actually really easy to make and really cute, I think. You can use this idea to decorate cupcakes, cakes, or cookies with this. I love them. Hopefully you like them too. If you did, the first to give this a thumbs up share it and let me know down below thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye